Governor Babaji Desanwolu has sworn in 11 new permanent secretaries, two of which are teacher generals of education districts. The quality and standard of selection of new appointees again reinforces the current administration's determination to reposition the state's public service for quality service delivery to the Goshen and Nigerian at large, to whom much is given, much more is expected. Lagos is the center of excellence, and as such, the expectations of the negotiators remain very high. I therefore urge you to hit the ground running and justify Mr. Governor's trust and confidence in your good service. At the swearing-in ceremony, Governor Babaji de Sawulu urged them to remain committed to rendering excellent service to the center of excellence and the people. To ensure that only the very best are entrusted with the position of leadership, responsibility, and we believe that in the assurance that you give it to us today, the path to the development and to the delivery of a greater Lagos is certainly on course. The responsibility as permanent secretary and accounting officer is to optimally manage all the resources, both financial and human, that will be placed at your disposal at your various MBA. Very optimistic that we all will measure up to the expectation and be able to say that we did not misplace our trust in appointing you today. On behalf of the new permanent secretaries, Mr. Olumide Oshinaike, in his vote of assurance, thanked the governor for the opportunity to serve and also pledged to help implement the themes agenda of the Somolu administration. We want to assure the present administration that the glittering developmental pillars of the themes agenda for Greater Lagos it is there for us as a mandate to ensure that we continue to allow you to glitter. The two new Tutor General Permanent Secretaries are Mrs. Olufunke Idowu Oyetola for Education District 3 and Mr. Olawale Olushegu Oshinaike, Education District 4. I am really, really happy and I thank God for this day. And I want to thank the Lagos State Government for giving me this opportunity to serve at a greater level. You wouldn't expect nothing less than the current trend in education. I'm going to improve on it. Our students' performance in, in, in examination, both internal and external, is going to be on a higher rate. And also we're going to expose our children to participate in competitions locally and internationally. And finally, we are going to embrace or imbibe the education and technology agenda in the present administration team's agenda. I'm one of the privileged ones. I'm really very excited. Although it is a responsibility that's, that has called for higher work to be done, in a higher capacity, we are going to raise the bar. We are going to ensure that the, the dividends of democracy is really, really uh, gained through our appointment. They have reached the pinnacle of their, the peak of their profession, and that is great. I'm very happy for them. But you know the reward for our hard work is even more work, so I know they still have a lot of work ahead of them. I wish them all the best, all the best. In, that life can offer. I'm so happy about being uh, deployed to the Teaching Service Commission because I was there for about two years and I know the kind of reforms that we set in there. It's a dint of hard work, being objective, being smart in your delivery, having your key performance indicators, having your objectives, your targets, and ensuring that you're a business partner with the Lagos State Government. When you are a business partner with the Lagos State Government, you are your personal goals and the organizational goals, you ensure that there's alignment in it. And I give God all the, all the glory that this has been recognized and uh, rewarded by Mr. Governor. Thereafter, Mrs. Olufunke Idowu Oyetola visited the Ministry of Education I wish you well. Treat people as you would like to be treated. If uh, somebody deserves to be 
admonish, admonish the person. But remember that when you admonish, you must never admonish in hatred. You must let that person know that I still value you as a human being. I don't like what you did. So just be gracious, open minded, visionary, focus, do your best. I want to wish them a successful tenure in office as uh, permanent secretaries. They have come, they have seen, and at the end of it, I want to say they have conquered. So, successful tenure, I wish them. For these two new appointees, joining the body of permanent secretaries with portfolios in the education sector is a privilege and an opportunity to contribute their own quota to the growth of the education sector.